What's up? Welcome. I'm going to talk about the segment Guardians of the Galaxy coming out tomorrow. This is going to be, for my opinion, Marvel's riskiest move. Only because they could have went... And I, it's a risky move, but I actually respect... You know, as This is a Neptunian channel. I respect that Venus in them. It's creative. It's a chance. Like, you know, they could have got robotic, to be honest. They could have had success with Avengers and just keep it moving. Even the way they kind of want to end the Avengers 3, it looks like. I mean, let's be real. Success. Some people would have had plans to have won just 4, 5, and 6. Now, that doesn't mean 15 years from now or 10 years from now they won't. Who knows? That could change in a heartbeat. You know, you get a few bad movies, all of a sudden things change. But you can tell. I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy, honestly, are level D characters. To be honest. Like, it's not... I mean, they, they could have picked from so many other characters in their catalog. But the thing I like about it is that it already seems, based on what I see, the critics say that people like it. I mean, every trailer they put up, it seemed like the internet liked it. You know, of course, you have people who say it's going to be a bad movie, don't watch it, you know, look stupid. But something I don't think those people understand, I like what the director of the movie was saying when he was saying that people sometimes take themselves too seriously. And I think it's true. I think if you look at it from what DC is trying to do, they're trying to get dark in every movie, and you can't really do that. To be honest. I mean, you really can't. You know, you, you think you could. I mean, if you look at even Star Wars, 4, 5, and 6, which is the, which is the first three movies in, that came out in the 70s, 80s, it wasn't really that dark. Yeah, it seemed like it, but not really. It wasn't really that dark. Towards the end, part three, that just came out a few years ago, that was dark. That was the real dark story. Even part two, where, you know, Anakin got his hand cut off, you, you kind of see the dark tone that was coming from it. But you have to mix it up. And the cool thing about it is that if it works, they can introduce their whole cosmic kingdom. And the beautiful thing about it is, because if you look at a lot of sci-fi movies that deal with space, potentially, Earth still exists in that universe. So it makes for all kind of possibilities. So do I think it's going to be good? I think it's going to be good. Don't get me wrong. You're going to have a lot of people who are not going to like it. I already know that myself. No question about that. So it's not going to be something. It's not going to be clear. But I, I, you know, it's not going to be as clear as like Avengers and other movies with Iron Man were. But no question, I think it has some serious potential in the movie. I mean, I have to admit, I was doubting myself. I mean, I was doubting up until two weeks ago. But I have to admit, if they if they pull this one off, which it looks like they might, I don't really think they could be stopped for a while. Because Ant-Man... I actually have less faith in Ant-Man than I had in Guardians of the Galaxy, but Doctor Strange is going to be awesome. You know, the director Sinister is going to, he's going to come in and do that one. So it's going to be kind of like, as they said, real magic. Thor was kind of magic, but Thor was kind of like comic book magic. Doctor Strange is getting to real magic. I can't wait to decode that for this channel. That's going to be awesome. But Guardians of the Galaxy, I think, really, the fact that they did that, it kind of just shows that they're, they're kind of getting their Venus on. Like, they're taking chances. It's not about the big buck, and I think it's going to pay off. I mean, if that goes good, Phase 3, which is really Guardians of the Galaxy, Doctor Strange, and Ant-Man, I don't know if they have other movies. I think stuff like Black Panther and stuff like that may be Phase 3. But that's not really, they haven't really made a date about that yet. But I'll make another video on that because they have cracked, they had a, a post still from Comic-Con of Captain America's shield broken. So... You see his shield broken, you already know it's vibranium, and it's vibranium, you're going to go to Black Panther's kingdom. So that's no question. He's probably going to, probably would be great if he appears in Captain America 3. That would be awesome. I think he probably needs that. I don't really think you could just do a Black Panther movie randomly and really want to, because it's about the money in the end. And, you know, I don't really think you can do that randomly and it's going to be a successful. You set him up in Captain America 3, yeah. And if that's the case... The reason why I like Guardians of the Galaxy because you set it up for Avengers 3, it's going to be just off the chain. No question, because they might be in Avengers 3. So I really think, I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy, like I think Guardians of the Galaxy, if it works, they have potential for Stage 3 to be awesome. Phase 3 to be awesome. It's, it's in terms of my characters, to be honest, I don't know. I like, I, I like, I mean, it's, it's, I was never really a fan of the comic book, to be honest. And when I used to read the comic book, a lot of these characters are not even there. To be honest, like I haven't really read comics in like six to ten years. So as I started to come back with own publishing, I had to speed up to get back in the game. Because and I'm kind of I kind of like that better because for me, I don't like other people to kind of I, I let me I, I don't mind other influences, 
but I do think as a creator, it has to come from you. So I'm kind of glad in the last five, ten years I have fell off my comic book game so it wouldn't really interfere with my creative process. But the guys that I know are not the same people that are here now. So, you know, Thanos' daughter, yeah, she is, who, who, who she's being played by Zoe Zaldana. She, yeah, but everyone else is new. So I don't even, to be honest, I mean, I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing Decree, you know, maybe Thanos, and, 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 and even though I think he's going to be like a secondary villain, you know, Ronan is gonna be number one, but I'm I'm more I'm more excited about that than the actual characters of the team. I don't know, but who knows? I might do this video on Monday because I'm gonna probably see it Saturday or Sunday. I'm not gonna do it on the weekend. I'm I'll come back Monday, and who knows? I might tell you I love the whole team. Who knows? Am I excited? Not really, but I do think it's gonna be a pretty good movie, and I think no question, if you a comic fan, you should definitely enjoy it and check it out. Till next time.